Blanco. A little cutback of Segura. Chance for Jeremy and Paul to see to tie the game. And Zimmerman made the ball. Oh, what a great pass. The clearance is excellent. The defending here from Zimmerman, too. For our defense to be able to make those huge plays at, at the meaningful times in the game, I think that's what really defines the game. If you can make more critical plays on the offensive and defensive end of the, end of the field, you'll end up winning the game. I love it. It's, it's my most favorite moment of the game when, when my defense sells out completely and they make a huge play. And that's when I'm always there to give them a pat on the back and be like, hey, like, great job. Like, we needed that. Like, let's, let's keep raising the momentum. I think we positionally we were okay when we had the ball. They didn't end up winning it and getting through our counter press, and then that's when Bobo says sometimes we have to deal with like 9-1-1 situations. We were just kind of shocked in a sense that we had lost the ball because it was an easy turnover, right? And I think that we were caught off guard, and then you know we really had to start picking up our reaction speed, and we didn't do it to the best of our abilities, and they ended up breaking it. Usually the midfield will try and you know suffocate the team and get the ball back, but we can't do it all the time. And that's why you have four guys back there in that specific play. You know, Walker made a big play to keep us at 2-1, and I think those are the plays that keep the momentum going your way or shift it in your favor, right? Pues primero que todo, siempre cuando atacamos estamos referenciando la marca en ataque. Ya cuando el contrario, el rival pasa a nuestro campo, tratamos de retardar el juego lo más posible, de reducir los espacios, las posibilidades y opciones para para nuestros rivales y evitar obviamente el gol. En nuestra posición es lo más importante. Eh, si nos hablamos vamos a transmitir seguridad. En esa jugada se ve reflejado en el momento que voy, le tiene un poco de espacio blanco y logra filtrar un gran balón yeah so when it's 2v1 uh, I guess the first thing you're trying to pick up is can the guy with the ball shoot is he close enough to goal at this moment I thought Blanco cut back it looks kind of obvious that he was gonna pass and so then I tried to make sure I was aware of uh, where Ebovice was and was I close enough to be able to turn and flip my hips or did I need to turn my back to the ball and run straight to where it was going to end up going. I think on that one, I was able to flip the hips fast enough and uh, get over there and make a good play. As a defender, you always have to, they say, have your head on a swivel. And so that's something that I always try and do is make sure I know exactly what's going on around me so that even if I'm not looking that way, I at least know what's back there. Even just being able to move freely and quickly allows you to make those kinds of plays. And that's certainly something that I, I think I've improved on in the past year and something that we work on uh, in training a lot. As a defender, those are the plays you live for. 